So I've come back in and loaded in some good hardwood lump charcoal. I've got my big pieces on the bottom. And then I sprinkle back in some of my smaller stuff that I've just been cooking with and then finished off with some more fresh stuff. That way it'll all be consumed and it's a good way to get the value out of that hardwood lump charcoal. So now we'll add in a couple of fire star cubes and be ready to fire it up. All right, so the cubes are in and lit. And I've got the bottom wide open and breathing. I'm going to leave the top open for a little while. Just let it get good and caught. Uh, since we're doing pork loin and pork tenderloin, I'm going to wind up turning the heat to get it about 225. And then we'll be good to go. So while this is heating up, I'm going to go get the pork loins and the pork tenderloin prepped and ready. All right, so here we are. We've got a couple of pork loins. Uh, these are relatively inexpensive, but uh, nice, nice fat there. That'll we're going to glaze those, and those will cook nicely once we smoke them up on the grill. And then the pork tenderloin. And maybe we can show you the difference between where the pork tenderloin, the strip of pork tenderloin, comes from, as opposed to the pork loin. Uh, but so I've prepared. I'm going to do a couple different glazes with this. So we're gonna glaze this first one, just coat it all over. And this, this is kind of a Vidalia barbecue sauce. So and we've done some things to spice it up beyond that. Take that and set it over here. A little more on top. And then that'll be ready to go on the smoker. Then I'm going to come back on this other one with a, a, a sweet chili, uh, kind of an Asian mix uh, that I put together. And then we'll just do the tenderloin with a standard barbecue sauce. So it ought to be really delicious. And we'll show you some pictures of that here in just a few minutes. I need to wash my hands. Thanks. Okay, so here we are. We got the pork loins. I'm about to put them on. The grill's nice and, and hot. We're going to close it down so that it's at about 225. And there's the tenderloin. I'll put that on here in a second too. This is going to be so good. So, it's our Vidalia onion. And then this is our sort of Asian spice. And now the tenderloin. Close that up. We'll let that settle down around 225 degrees and hold it there for a couple hours. What do you think, MG? I think it's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, my helpers are home. They've been out running errands with their baby sister. All right. Already smells good. All right, so I just checked it. My temps are coming up nicely. Went on and flipped the meat. I don't know if you noticed earlier, but I had forgotten to put in my searing plate, my, my heat deflector. Uh, the nice thing about those half grates is they were easy to pull off. And uh, pull one of them off and slide the, the searing plate in there to go to a more indirect heat. And uh, Doing good, smelling good. Can't wait to try it. All right, so we just brought these beautiful pieces of meat in off the grill, and uh, I'm gonna cover them now. We'll let them rest for about 10 minutes. That'll be about right for time to load up to go to the party. So I'll let you know how it comes out. <laughs> 